So we talked about punching, talked about pump faking. The other thing we can do is we can pound the guy's head with a collar tie, with either hand. I'm right-handed, I leave my right leg, I'm right-handed, and I just feel like I can, I can pound a collar tie a lot harder with my right hand, and everybody's different. But when I go to pound a guy with a collar tie, I mean, I really, I'm not gonna do as hard as I can to kneel because it's not fun for him to meet, <laughs> him feel me do this like five times in a row. But, you know, maybe he can punch, maybe a pump fake. But notice, I'm just going to come right here and just, make, just rock him with a collar tie right there. Again, we call it a collar tie because my forearm goes around his collar, right? And it creates this hook, this tie around his neck. It's around his collar, around his neck. It's called a collar tie. It's the way I tie him up around his collar. But what you want to do, this, this should not be slow. It should not be in slow motion like this because I'm opening myself up if you were to go to shoot. I really want to rock him when it's coming in. Just wham. Now I should in many ways make him see stars if I do this correctly. And it's another way to frustrate your opponent. Again, if I hit him hard like that, it's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I hit him like that. He's going to want to come back and maybe do that to me. And that's great timing. If I rock him like this, he goes back to this, he can open himself up. That's a good time for me to attack. So again, it's that physical nature of using my hands, but it's also frustrating to my opponent and it gets him to come out of position to open up my offense. So it's pounding him with collar ties. And most of the time when you do this, you go to pound the collar tie, you'll start moving. We'll talk about this in a moment, but you'll start pulling the guy. But just rocking him with the collar tie, punching him, pump faking him, pounding him with the collar tie. That's a great way to move your hands and move your feet.